In this video today, I'm gonna to walk you through how I stay healthy as a DJ. The first thing I do to stay healthy is drink loads of water. Now, drinking loads of water is a tough thing. I know a lot of people just in general struggle with it because how much do you drink a day? When do you drink? And everyone's like, oh, I forgot to drink my water today, blah, blah, blah. What you pretty much need to do is set a reminder. Like set a reminder every hour, two hours to drink I don't know, half a pint of water. Every two hours, drink half a pint of water and you'll be good. Like what I do is I wake up in the morning and I drink a pint of water. And then throughout the day, I just try and drink pints and pints of water just to stay healthy. I do have this bottle here. So this is a super sparrow bottle. This has like, I think this holds like two liters. Is it two liters? No, this holds a liter of water and it's a good bottle to have. It's quite it's quite decent. I'm gonna leave the link for it down in the description down below. And I just kind of take this everywhere with me. If I'm sitting on my desk here doing some work, I'll drink a sip of water. If I go out, I'll take it with me, have a sip of water, etc. Like if you have a decent bottle, you're more likely to drink water. The only problem that you're gonna have with drinking loads of water is you're gonna be peeing a lot. Now, it is long, like you're gonna be drinking water, you'll be at your desk doing some work and the next thing you know, you need to pee. You sit down, you have a bit more water, you need to pee again. And it is long, but it's also good because it's getting you up from your computer. Like me, I sit on my computer quite a bit because I do have a day job where I'm a software engineer. So I am I am at my computer a lot. Me needing to get up and wee is me getting away from my desk, stretching my legs kind of thing. So peeing a lot because you're drinking a lot of water is okay i guess but i guess if you're one of them people that like to get their steps in it's gonna contribute to your steps so yeah the first thing i do to stay healthy as a dj is drink loads of water so the next thing i do is exercise now everyone should be exercising to stay fit what i do is i go to the gym i've only just recently got back into the gym now um i've been on and off of the gym for like the past two three years i used to go to the gym flat out i'll put a picture on the screen right now of how what i used to look like now <laughs> i don't look like that because i've fallen off but I'm trying to get back into that but going to the gym is really good to stay healthy as a DJ or just to stay healthy in general as a as a normal human being so what I do is I just go to a local gym down the road and I just do I just do weightlifting like I don't really do much cardio I can do cardio but I'm trying to put on weight so what I do is I do a push pull leg split so basically push is like chest and shoulders and stuff like that pull is like back and arms and then legs is obviously legs. I do push pull legs twice a week. So I pretty much do push pull legs, push pull legs, one day of rest and then push pull legs, push pull legs. So it's good for me. I like going to the gym. I like weightlifting. It's good for my mental as well. And it's also good because what I do is I go to the gym in my lunch break for work. So it's good for me to get up and out the house and actually do something. And it helps me stay healthy. Like, so if you're at home and you're not really doing much exercise, I'd say sign up to the gym. Or if you don't wanna go to the gym because you're too embarrassed, you don't wanna go yet, you don't have any confidence, get some push-up bars, do some push-ups at home, do some sit-ups, do anything. Anything to do a little bit of exercise. Or what you can do is you can go for a run, you can go outside and get some fresh air, or what I did do when I couldn't really be bothered to exercise is I would go for long walks and listen to brand new music. So I would have a playlist of new music on my Spotify or my YouTube music and I'd go for like an hour walk and consume all the brand new music. So if you don't wanna go to the gym and do weightlifting or do any cardio, go for a simple walk. That Going for a walk is better than just sitting at home and doing no exercise at all. So the next way I'm staying healthy as a DJ is to just purely stop drinking alcohol. I stopped drinking alcohol as a DJ a long, long time ago. So I used to drink a lot on my DJ sets and then one set I actually spilled alcohol all over my DJ equipment. So I actually stopped because of that because it, it cost me like 600 pounds. I've actually got a video to that. So I'm gonna leave the video to how I spilled drink on my DJ controller. I'll leave it in the description down below. Now drinking alcohol in the DJ world, a lot of DJs do it because they feel like they're a lot more confident. They, they think that they play a lot better. I'm gonna tell you right now, you don't. <laughs> like you don't play better at all. Like it's all in your head. Like you're, you probably think you're playing better, but to the crowd, you're probably you're probably playing terrible and you'll probably play like 10 times better when you're sober. So yeah, so what I done to stay healthy was cut out alcohol. And also if you don't drink on the night, you're gonna feel a lot better in the morning. You're gonna have a better sleep and you're gonna be a lot more productive the next day. So before you go out and drink on your next DJ set, just kind of think, do you need to drink? Do you have something to do the next day? Because if you can be a lot more productive because you're not drinking, I'd say don't drink. But yeah, that's just another way I stay healthy as a DJ. Now this one, I'm gonna be speaking to every single one of you right now. I stopped eating fast food after my DJ set. I know every single DJ, whether you're living in America, whether you're living in the UK, whether you're living anywhere, after your DJ set, you are hungry. 
And you know what you do? You come out the club, you might take a little diversion and you're gonna go to McDonald's. You're gonna go to the drive-thru. <laughs> you're gonna go to the drive-thru. You're gonna get a quarter pounder with cheese. You're gonna get that with a meal. You're gonna get that with a Fanta. Or you might even get a milkshake. You're also gonna get a double cheeseburger, apple pie. You might even get some mozzarella dippers. I'm just talking about my order, but I don't know about you lot, but I know every single DJ does it because We've DJed for six hours, yeah? Normally we're not really, like, I don't know, some DJs don't really have dinner before they go They go out and DJ. They'll snack beforehand or whatever. Then they'll go DJ six hours, and after the club, you're hungry. You're hungry, but I had to stop eating fast food because literally, if you're having quarter pounders after every single DJ set, it's gonna do, it's gonna do bad things to your insides in it. So that's one thing I've stopped um, doing, just, just to try and stay healthy. Obviously, if you eat too much fast food, you're gonna gain weight and you don't really want to gain weight, it's going to make you unhealthy. Maybe tactically think how you could eat before your DJ set so you won't be hungry afterwards, or think about what you could eat during your DJ set. So the next way I stay healthy as a DJ is just eating loads of fruit. Now, my favorite fruits are like pineapple, plums, oranges, etc., and I'll just eat them either during my DJ set, before my DJ set, or after my DJ set. It kind of like, it just kind of gets me through my DJ set and it also is healthy to eat loads of fruits in it. So if you're leaving your DJ set, you're leaving the club and you're feeling a little bit hungry, have an orange, have a plum, have some pineapple. Do not go to McDonald's. Do not go to these fast food restaurants. You're going to start putting on weight and you're going to start just feeling unhealthy. After you've finished, you know what? You can go to Tesco, you can go to the supermarket and you can get them the little boxes of like pineapple or oranges or whatever. After your DJ set, you're gonna sit in your car, you're gonna, you're gonna look to your left and you're gonna see some pineapple. You know what? You're gonna sit in your car, you get your little mini fork, eat them. Eat the pineapple and you're gonna be satisfied, you're gonna go to bed and you're gonna wake up in the morning and you'll have your breakfast. Do not go to, <laughs> do not go to McDonald's people. Literally have some fruit and it'll keep you healthy as a DJ. Now, another way I stay healthy as a DJ um, is I cut back on my DJ sets. Now, I did do a video, I'm gonna leave it linked in the description down below, but I, I used to DJ like five, six times a week. Now, you gotta think, if I'm DJing five, six times a week, I'm not sleeping, I'm not. I'm, I'm not sleeping, I'm not getting the correct amount of sleep, I'm not waking up at the right time, I'm not eating properly. If you're DJing four or five times a week, you don't have time to sit down, you don't have time to sleep, you don't have time to eat properly, you're gonna be constantly on the road, on the move, eating McDonald's, eating snacks, eating Kit Kats all the time. So what I actually done is I've cut back on my DJ set and it's a personal choice of mine. So now all I do is I DJ two and a half times a week. And when I say, when I say a half, I DJ once a month in a venue on a Friday and then that's it. So technically I DJ twice a week and then I DJ on a Friday night um, at the end of the month in Brighton. So I've cut back and I feel a lot better about it. Like I'm not tired all the time. My sets are a lot better because I'm not tired. I'm more, I'm only doing the sets that I like now because I before when I was doing four or five sets a week, literally I will tell you right now, I wasn't enjoying every single set. So why am I going to a DJ set that I don't enjoy? I know people are gonna say like, but it's money, it's money. But the thing is, I would rather be healthy than have more money. Money is cool, but if you're not healthy, you can't spend that money, you understand? So what I've done is I've cut back on my DJ set. So I'm DJing twice a week and I don't know, do you know what actually? I don't know about you lot, like whoever's watching this video and you're DJing like four or five times a week, I guarantee you're not eating correctly, you're, you can't go to the gym. Actually, actually, you know what? Let me speak about this point. If you're DJing four or five times a week, you're not gonna have time to exercise. You're not gonna have time to go to the gym. You know what? You're not even gonna have time to socialize with your friends. Like <laughs> socializing with your friends is something that you need to do that's to keep you healthy, I feel. Like if you're not socializing with your friends and you're just on your own, you're not gonna mentally be okay. So I feel like if you're DJing four or five times a week, you're not gonna be able to exercise, you're not gonna be able to do anything. So think about it. If you're DJing four or five times a week, think about your health and do you need to cut back on some of these DJ sets to make you a lot more healthier? Will you be a lot happier if you were DJing less? And you also gotta think, there's a lot of DJs out there that are begging for work. Yeah, and if you've got four or five DJ sets, you can pass one on to one of them, man. Like, there's a lot of DJs that I know that don't have any DJ sets, right? And I've passed on loads of DJ sets to other DJs because I don't want to do all these extra sets and become unhealthy and tired and stuff. So I'd rather give it to them, give them the opportunity, and then I can rest up and be healthy. Now, the next way I stay healthy as a DJ is to sleep. Now, you're not going to be able to sleep if you're DJing four or five times a week. So now I DJ two to three times a week. I can sleep. Like I can literally go to bed at around about 10 p.m. if I haven't got my kids. Like I could sleep all the way until 7 p.m. the next day. So 
you pretty much want to have like eight hours sleep, nine hours sleep. It is tough on the weekends. Like I DJ until 3 a.m. on a Saturday, but then I've got my kids the next day. So I need to wake up early. So I'm not going to have that much sleep. But for you guys that don't have kids, make sure you're getting eight hours sleep. Make sure you're getting the sleep in. And also make sure you're not drinking alcohol. Because <laughs> if you drink alcohol, it's going to affect your sleep. You're going to wake up all, you're going to wake up all hungover or groggy and you're not going to get a good quality sleep. So if you don't drink alcohol, you finish a DJ set, you go home, have a nice sleep, get some blackout blinds and make sure you just don't wake up because obviously you're going to be, you're going to be going to sleep at like four or five o'clock in the morning. And when you're going to sleep, it's going to be daylight pretty much anyway. So if you get some blackout blinds, you'll probably sleep for longer. So just think about it, right? Just when you're DJing on a Saturday night, just try not to have anything planned for Sunday. Just have Sunday as your rest day and try and sleep as long as possible. Try and get eight hours sleep. Then when you wake up, have a good breakfast and just relax, yeah? And also, if you don't have time to have eight hours sleep, just have some naps. Like I know a lot of DJs like to nap before their DJ set. I'm actually petrified to nap before my DJ set because what if I don't wake up? I will say like, if you can't get the eight hours sleep, make sure that you're napping during the day to try and get some sort of sleep. Otherwise, you're gonna be tired, you're gonna be fatigued, you're not gonna be able to DJ well, blah, 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 blah. Make sure that you're getting eight hours sleep. Make sure you're getting good quality sleep by not drinking alcohol. Make sure that you're getting blackout blinds so you can sleep for longer, etc., etc., etc. Now that you've watched this video, check this video out here.